This is Matt Roush, Technology Editor of WWJ950. I'm here today with uh, Kevin Bird of Business Development for Alcentis here in Holland. Uh, basically, uh, if you've ever wondered how the touchscreen technology on your appliances comes about, they design it here. Uh, they do a little bit of manufacturing here, but most of it's manufactured overseas, correct? Local. It's manufactured in Wheaton, Illinois. Oh, okay. All right. Fine. Uh, so what are we looking at here? What are these objects you have in your We're hands? We're looking at a touch um, input device for the for a, uh, an appliance. Yep. This happens to be a stove. Gen Air stove. Gen Air okay. stove. And you can see the core, how the core technology is. It's, mm -hmm. It is a flex circuit with a, an ASIC to support each touch point. What's an ASIC? An ASIC is the integrated circuit okay. specifically for this touch application. Okay. This, these uh, ASICs were developed by Touch Sensor okay. and by Dave Caldwell. And um, so these are the typical kind of products that you would, that you would see from Touch Sensor. Uh -huh. They support the appliance industry and we have taken their core technology and we are charged to develop the next level of that technology. So this is a spin-off of Touch Sensor then here in Holland, Correct. right? Correct. Yes, 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 okay, yes. and you've also got uh, um, a little circuit here that goes into a, a high-intensity desk lamp, right? So that's Correct. This is a touch circuit. And this, is, this is a touch circuit. The, the, the advantage is you, you do these circuits uh, um, on the plastic, right? On the flexible um, on, materials. On the flexible it, circuit. That right. allows them to bend, to be placed in all sorts of different applications. Go ahead and touch that lamp there. Yeah, and, and in this it. case, the circuit's right here, and it yep. takes the shape of that head, and you can see that it... Yep. So we're sensing the ideal... The ideal construction would be that this circuit would be molded directly into this plastic. Mm -hmm. And it would be shipped as one part, but because all of these parts were created offshore, we actually just adhere this with a with a, an adhesive, a pressure sensitive adhesive, to the back bottom side of this lamp. Okay, and uh, you also have had some washing machine uh, uh, um, control panels here. Right. And also, finally, I wanted to uh, uh, point out uh, this little beauty right here. If you've ever wondered where the touch. <laughs> Technology comes from on a slot machine. Uh, partially, it comes from Holland, Michigan, yeah. uh, and you can you can pick your poison there. Uh, what your denomination is on that slot machine? Exactly. Yep. Exactly. Now, the the interesting thing about this technology using thin film as a driver to create the ITOs for the touch inputs that give you the transparency, you can also use the techniques for lamination of mm -hmm. that product for creating other types of products. I an example of this is this could be, or this is a periscope. Yeah. So it's laminated with a thin film technology on both sides. Interesting. Okay. Thank you, Kevin Bird of uh, Allcentis uh, here in Holland. This is Matt Roush, Technology Editor, WWJ News Radio 950.